In this video, I'm going to show you how to use margins in Adobe InDesign, as well as when to use bleeds when publishing with KDP. Hey guys, Craig here. Hope everybody's doing well. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name's Craig Babin, and I'm on a mission to turn my part-time drawing hobby into a full-time income. And I'm hoping to inspire as many of you as possible to do the exact same thing. So if you have a part-time hobby that you want to monetize, then hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be posting some really useful information on this site that you are not going to want to miss. That being said, let's get started. All right, in my last Q&A video, I had a few subscriber questions asking me to better explain the use of margins and bleeds when it comes to InDesign and KDP. So in this video, I'm going to break it down for you so that there's absolutely no confusion whatsoever. So if you're ready, let's get to it. Okay, so if we're going to talk margins and bleeds, the first thing we need to look at are the KDP interior page sizes. And you can find a list of them right here on the KDP website. I'll put a link to them in the description below. So as you can see, there are about 16 or 17 different page sizes available to publish your book in. Regardless of what size you want your book to be, the only thing you really need to concern yourself with on this page is whether or not you're going to use bleed. If you are, then you need to set up your book using the page dimensions on the right. If you're not going to use bleed, then you should use the page dimensions on the left. Now before I get into when and when not to use bleeds, I just want to quickly run through creating a new book interior in InDesign and how to set up the margins. So for this demonstration, I'm just going to use the page dimensions 8.25 by 8.25 inches. So back in Adobe InDesign, I'll just click the Create New button to open a new document menu. Once the document menu opens, I'm going to start off by changing the units to inches and then I'm simply going to enter in my book dimensions. For this demonstration, I'll just leave the page count at 4 and the columns at 1. As for the margins, I'm going to set them all to 0.5 inches and I'm going to leave the bleed and slug at 0. Now I'll just hit create. Now this is how a lot of people set up their margins when they're first starting out. In fact, this is how many of the pre-made KDP interiors being sold on the internet set up their margins as well. And it's wrong. Now I can understand why visually this may look correct. If I paste a block of text onto this spread and remove my guidelines by hitting my W key, you can see that everything pretty much looks centered. But what you need to remember is that you're viewing this page lying out perfectly flat. Once you insert this spread into a book that has a hundred or more pages, it won't be lying flat anymore. Let me give you an example. So let's take this book here, Why We Sleep by Matthew Walker which is a very good book, by the way, if you want to understand the importance of sleep. Okay, so if I open up this book to roughly the middle and I look down on it directly from the top, you can see that the exterior and interior margins all pretty much look equal. And this is why most people set all of their margins to the same size. But this is actually just an illusion. If I take a piece of paper that is folded to the exact width of the text and line it up so that it covers the text completely, then I fold the end of the paper over the edge of the book and close the book. You can clearly see that if we look at the book from the bottom, the inside margin is much wider than the outside margin. The reason you don't see it when the book is open is because it's tucked into the fold of the book or the gutter. So if you want your margins to appear equal when your book is lying open, then you need to add anywhere from an extra 0.125 inches to 0.25 inches to your interior margins. So right now my margins are set at 0.5 inches all the way around. So I'm going to add 0.25 inches to my interior margin, making it 0.75 inches. Now once I adjust my text accordingly, you can see that my interior margins are slightly wider, which will take into account the fold of the book. So will KDP reject your books if your margins are slightly off? No, because KDP can't even see your margins. The margins are just there for your reference when you're laying out your book. The margins are just there to ensure that you don't put anything important into the gutter or too close to the edge of the book where it could possibly be cropped off during printing. And this doesn't just apply to text-based books either. It applies to picture books as well. I'm going to change my margins to 0.25 inches on the outside and 0.5 inches on the interior. 
Now, if I lay out a page from Dr. Seuss's Horton and the Quagger Bug, you can see that nothing important falls outside of the margins. Horton's entire head stays within the margins, as does 98% of the Quagger Bug's body. You'll also notice that the text is not only well within the margins, but it's also centered between them as well. All of this stuff falling outside of the margins, like the sky, the trees, the grass, even the back end of Horton's body, are unimportant. So if they were to get cropped off during printing, it wouldn't matter to the overall aesthetic of the book. The margins are just there as a reminder to us while we're laying out our interior content to keep the important stuff away from the edges of the book. That's it. So now, let's talk about blades. So to start off, I'm going to put my margins back to 0.5 and 0.75 inches respectively. The only time that you need to use bleeds is when the content of your book will be running right up to the edge of the page. Let me give you a few examples. So here's a page from my drawing prompt book. As you can see, all of the content pretty much falls within the margins. So there is absolutely no reason to use bleed for this book because all of the other pages are laid out exactly the same way. So when I was choosing a page size for my book, I would just use the 8.25 by 8.25 page dimensions on the left, which are without bleed. And if I go back into InDesign and look at my document setup, that's exactly what I have. Now if I was creating a notebook or a diary and I wanted a nice empty border around my lines, then once again, I have no need to use a bleed. So I would stick with the no bleed page dimensions on the left. But if I decided that I wanted my lines to go right to the edge of my page, like this for instance, then I would need to use bleed. There's no guarantee that my book will be cropped evenly. The printer might crop my book a little short on the left side and maybe a little long on the right. And if I only run my lines to the exact edge of my page and the crop is off, I could end up with a blank space that looks something like this. And I don't want that. Okay, now this is extremely important, so don't turn off the video here. If you're going to be self-publishing with KDP, I'm going to show you how to make sure that your books aren't rejected because of bleed issues. When it comes to bleed settings, all most printers really want you to do is to add an extra 0.125 inches to all of the outside margins. If we take a look at the difference in page dimensions from the bleed and no bleed pages, all they're really doing is adding 0.125 inches to the outside margins of each page. Now remember, these dimensions are per page, not per spread. So you're only dealing with three margins here, the top, bottom, and one side margin. So if we take a look at the book template we're using, the width of the book, which is the first dimension, is 8.25 inches without bleed, and 8.375 inches with bleed. So if we take 8.375 and we subtract 8.25, that gives us 0.125 inches. And if we take a look at the height of the page, it's also 8.25 inches without bleed, and it's 8.5 inches with bleed. So if we subtract 8.25 from 8.5, we get 0.25. Now remember, when talking about the height of the book, there are two margins to consider, the top and the bottom. So we have to divide that 0.25 by two, and then we'll end up getting 0.125 on the top and 0.125 inches on the bottom. So if I go back into InDesign and add a bleed of 0.125 inches to all of my outside edges, it would look something like this. So what I would need to do now is extend all of my content to the edge of the bleed, like this. And if I was laying out a picture book, I would do the exact same thing. Now this is very important. If you were dealing with any other printer other than KDP, you could just export this interior out as a PDF right now and all you would have to do is remember to enable the document's bleed and slug settings before you saved it. Other than that, just make sure to set the preset to press quality or whatever setting your printer was asking for and set the pages to pages, unless once again the printer you're using prefers spreads. For KDP, it's always pages and then you would just have to click export. But if you're publishing with KDP, there's a pretty good chance that this manuscript would get rejected. And it's because for some reason, KDP just doesn't recognize the bleed settings in PDFs. I don't know why, but I've had two book interiors rejected because of this. 
So what you want to do instead is go back to your document setup and turn off your bleed settings or at least put them to zero. Now if I was to click OK, you can see that my bleed lines are gone, but my content still goes over the edge of my book by 0.125 inches all the way around. What you want to do when laying out a book with bleed for KDP is instead of using the bleed settings in the document setup, just use the page bleed dimensions that KDP recommends on their website. Enter them directly into your page size. So for this book, I'm going to change the width from 8.25 to 8.375 inches and the height from 8.25 to 8.5 inches. Now if you watch the edge of my page, the book edge is going to jump out right to where the bleed lines were. Now when it comes to exporting this interior out as a PDF, don't worry about the bleed settings. You don't need them. Just make sure that you have the presets set to press quality and that you have the pages set to pages, not spreads. Then just click export. Now it's very important when you're uploading your book to KDP that if you're using the bleed dimensions for your book to choose the bleed option when uploading it and vice versa. If you're not using the bleed dimensions, choose no bleed. And that's really all there is to it. Okay, so hopefully this video clears up any confusion surrounding the use of margins and bleeds when it comes to self-publishing a book with KDP. And if you have any further questions pertaining to KDP or InDesign, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. If you'd like more information on how to self-publish low-content books using InDesign and KDP, then check out my video on how to create low-content books to sell on Amazon. I'll put a link to it at the end of this video. As always, I decide which video I'm going to create next based on which of my previous videos are getting the most likes. So if you want to see more content like this, then give this video a thumbs up and let me know that you like it. And finally, if you're new to my channel and you're not quite sure what it's all about, then check out my playlist on how to monetize your hobby. You'll find a link to it right here. Until next time, take care.